Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto here. Another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. And I gotta say, uh, the market, man, it actually we saw a little dip there after we had a nice, nice, nice run uh, these last couple of weeks, seeing Bitcoin almost hit 60K um, after it just you know blew right past 50,000 like it was no big deal. Ethereum, you know, and decide to get some movement. Uh, Cardano, Cardano's number three now, folks, on the market cap. Uh, they're at currently $1.28. Binance Coins at currently $226. Uh, again, that was a coin. I remember when it was back at 30, and that was like a pretty uh, high moment for Binance Coin. But now, just to see where it's currently at, it's just amazing. Um, dot a lot of people build on their blockchain um great project right now currently at 34 dollars a little disappointed myself that uh i actually had some um but should have probably kept a little bit instead of closing out the whole position um litecoin is kind of interesting uh litecoin here is at 166 um i feel that anytime litecoin's under 200 dollars, that's always kind of like a good time to buy uh, I mean, you know, it was at like 240, 250, uh, I would say closer, what was that, I believe like last week, um, it got as high as, I think it was 247, um, and now, you know, it kind of just dropped, uh, back down, but like I said, anytime Litecoin is on 200, uh, I would definitely scoop some up, of course, your big boy Chainlink, Chainlink's been doing well. It did also have a drop off. Um, you know, it was you know at the thirty dollar, thirty dollar range, all the way up to thirty five dollars, all time high of thirty six bucks. Right now, it's at twenty five dollars, a little bit of a discount. Um, of course, you know, Chainlink project is. You don't know about the Chainlink project? I highly advise you go ahead and get on that research. Stellar, Stellar's been having a great run right now. Currently at forty one cents. Uh, it did get to like that 60 cents, 50 cent range. Um, still hasn't cracked the dollar mark yet. All time high of 92 cents. Um, definitely kind of curious to see how Stellar runs over the next couple of months. But it's been doing, like I said, it's been doing pretty solid. Uh, if you were to look over at the last, what, 30 and last 90 days, you got the last 30 days, you know, at 46%, about 47%. Last 90, over 110%. So again, um, gains are obviously there um, another project that I've been kind of always keeping my eye out on and making sure that I keep tabs because you know there's a lot of different coins out there a lot of different projects that I uh, personally want to invest in but you know got to make sure funds are always in proper line but again them 60 cents you look at their stats for the last I mean sheesh last 30 days over 160 percent Last 90 over 216%. And if you just look at the year, ooh, 1100%. Yikes. That was some big, big gains. Um, Ave, Ave took a bit of a hit. Um, right now, currently at 376. It was running pretty high in the 500s. Almost got close to uh, 600. Uh, All time high is 578. Uh, so when you're looking at the price right now, um, I would say, hey, this is, this is a nice little little opportunity. Go ahead. Uh, not to mention, look at the last 24 hours. I mean, sheesh, almost up 20%. Uh, let's see, Cosmos, Cosmos has been doing well. Cosmos actually had a nice, nice run. Um, do have some causes right now. Definitely want to get more, especially when you can stake those and earn APR. Uh, Monero's been quiet, but you know it's at 215. EOS had a huge dip. Uh, right now, EOS is at 354. Um, did make some money off of EOS, of course. Uh, you know, I would say again, another good time to buy because this bad boy was f hovering and staying over that. For fifty to five dollar range for quite some time, uh, and then like I said, dropped back down to three fifty four. Um, 
I I think this would be a price entry that I would be comfortable entering. Uh, looking to sell it, you know, somewhere back in the what, high four, mid five dollar range. Like I said, um, last 30 days still up over 31 percent. So, like I said, games, like I said, last couple weeks, go up, you guys have been following the market. There's games to be made almost everywhere. Uh, Tron, four cents right now is at five cents. Tron's been having a you know, nice pre run. I feel like a lot of people are not necessarily, maybe not talking about CRO, which is crypto.com. Um, they actually had a huge uh, pump. They were hovering at what, the eight cents, nine cents for a long time. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think they might've burned some of their tokens. Uh, Cause then we saw a huge little jump up to four, what was it? 28 cents, that was like the high. Uh, and then, you know, it took a little tumble, but man, um, and this one's attached to the MCO. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about the MCO program and their card. So. This particular coin, I mean, last 30 days over 100%, last 90 over 100%. So again, they do have their moments, but um, like I said, as they continue to burn you know, tokens, obviously those old prices that you saw, you know, we, we may not go back down there. Uh, but definitely check out CRO. Uh, I'm trying to see who else has been doing pre saw I'm, I'm actually kind of, Impressed to see what Neil has done in the last month or so. Uh, right now, currently at thirty-six dollars. Um, I'm a fan of Neil. I know Neil hasn't really been talked about a lot, but the fact again, when you're when you're holding certain coins and you're able to, you know, just make that passive income, uh, it's kind of like you know, like I said, it's a hard opportunity, at least for me to pass up on. Uh, so I'm definitely probably going to, you know, try to get some more Neo up in my portfolio here. Um, start collecting some of that gas. I believe the gas had actually had shop as well. And then V chain finally decided to get some V chain. Um, now I'm collecting a, a V tour pretty much every day. Uh, definitely want to get more V chain again. A lot of coins that I can either stake or an APR. I would say, you know, that's kind of, uh, I would say one of the main components right now that I'm looking for as far as accumulating coins. Um, because again, when you're able to get these certain coins, stake them, you know, it's just going to add more to your pot. So kind of shifted my focus towards those coins again. Um, but there's, like I said, there's so many different tokens and so many different projects that, uh, I would love to obviously invest in, but um, Celsius Network, four dollars sixty six cents. Um, they actually had a nice little ride. Uh, Luna, this Terra, has been catching my uh, eye, and I'm definitely gonna have to um, take definite note because ooh, if you want to talk about what the type of Terra this bad boy's been on, ooh, wee. last thirty days almost three hundred percent, last ninety days. 12, 1,280%, and I'm not even going to read you the last year, 2,500%. Um, and I actually just started reading about Terra and the blockchain, the stable coins, and kind of what uh, they have to offer. Definitely a cool project. Obviously, <laughs> if you were investing in this one early, you know, kudos to you, because I wish I would have found this project a little bit earlier. And then, you know what I got to say, man? Voyager token, I am very impressed. They actually cracked the top 50. Uh, and it's just been on a crazy, I mean, when I say a crazy run, you look at these numbers. Oh, last 30 days, over 322%. Last 90 days, over 4,100%. Last, oh my gosh, it's just, again, it's been just ripping the market. Uh, this type of run they've had has been just straight up nasty uh for them to crack the top 50 like i said it's pretty impressive uh zilka is actually doing uh solid but um 
it's definitely interesting to kind of look at the overall market to kind of see some of where these tokens um, have gone or uh, fallen um, compared to their rankings. Um, but as far as what I'm trying to do, as far as you know, trying to accumulate all these different coins. I mean, Solana's a good project. Uh, you know, Nano's been on a crazy tear. Ontology's been doing pretty solid. Uh, you look at Digibyte. Digibyte's been, you know, doing pretty well. Um, Bats had a nice little run. Ravencoin's doing well. Icon's starting to really kind of pick up some steam, kind of, you know, uh, come try to come back to where they used to be. Um, because you know they're still kind of far away from their all-time high of twelve dollars. ZRX has been doing well as well. Um, they've been having a great run. Um, and then also two man Nexo. Uh, Nexo has been doing pretty well. Uh, crazy to see the price is at currently two dollars. Um, when I know when I had bought my or at least most of my tokens. I had both bought most of my tokens around that uh, thirty cents, thirty five cents range. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of uh, the gist of like the crypto side of things. Now, if we come on over, because you know stocks do open up this week. Uh, obviously, I'm not heavily involved in stocks, but I do have some where you know I've actually had some great returns one of those being you know cciv which is attached to lucid air um had a nasty fall uh the rise was lovely to see i mean it got up all the way up to like 62 dollars um i'm still up in my position of course probably should have took a little profit probably should have took a little bit more um uh, fell back to 30 dollars i want to definitely watch this one heavy over the week um, because if it stays, I feel like if it stays anywhere from 30 or under 30, uh, I think that's going to be a really great opportunity to kind of, you know, try to get some more added to the portfolio. Cause again, um, the run they had and lucid air still, again, it's still not official quite yet. Um, but definitely looking forward to see when that announcement is going to happen. Another stock that actually need to go ahead and do probably a little dive into just to see you know kind of what happened because uh, Fisker took off uh, Fisker currently at twenty seven dollars seventy two cents uh, I was I've been buying it at you know that fifteen dollar range um, and then all of a sudden you know kind of shot up right now currently up about eighty two percent Fisker has been Fisker's another EV uh, company looking to be like you know like Tesla, uh, then also another one that actually kind of dropped that's part of my you know kind of my EV watch uh, is Neo. Uh, Neo actually right now is at forty six dollars. Um, it's been on the downtrend the last I would say, but probably since the start of February, uh, it was at a high of like sixty two. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm looking at this as an opportunity to kind of go ahead and maybe go ahead and jump in and see if I can, uh, you know, maybe get a potential 20% return, uh, or if I might hold a bit longer, just see how it goes. But I mean, it's been, it's been fluctuating. It kind of, it gets to that $60, $60 mark, high fifties, and then normally kind of just kind of dwindles off to the low 50 like I said the fact that right now it's at $46 uh, definitely see this as an opportunity to you know go ahead and try to see if I can go ahead and get some uh, nice returns on that one and then some other stocks that I've been looking at especially with what's going on in the world I know they were talking about uh, airline travel is supposed to be uh, coming back up not necessarily full on like you know where we you know at full capacity but i was looking at you know united you know united uh their past week wasn't too shabby uh it went up seven percent uh so again you know the airline companies are the ones that i'm trying to see 
you know, when's it going to be a good time to really enter, uh, especially, you know, dealing with this whole pandemic. But it is glad to see that, you know, some of them are actually, you know, going up a little bit. But I would say even American Airlines uh, definitely did go up 7%, just similar to United. So you've seen some type of increases with some of the airline companies uh, as far as the stock market goes. But, um, you know, right now, again, still got to keep your eye out on those, keep them close uh, to your list as the world hopefully starts to open up a little bit more. Um, definitely would, you know, hopefully see those particular stocks take off. But, you know, back to the whole crypto market, uh, current market cap right now, about 1.4 trillion. Um, you know, as we enter this month of March, you know, now it's kind of like, all right, well, what's the next step for the entire marketplace? Because, you know, we did see some big time people come into the market, you know, with Tesla announcing their huge purchase of Bitcoin. Um, you also got uh, other institutional money coming in. I mean, we, we saw MasterCard get involved. Uh, a lot of different announcements, a lot of different players that are, you know, finally entering the crypto market. Uh, so, you know, for those of you that might be out there that, you know, haven't quite took the time to sit down and just, you know, maybe look at some different projects to invest in, uh, I highly encourage you to, um, especially right now, uh, when we're in the midst of a little, a little bit of a dip, a little bit of a dip, but of course for me, uh, I think my, one of my main things for this year is to really build up uh, passive incomes using different crypto projects. And there's some out there that I've been using consistently, especially like Nexo, uh, starting to use Celsius a little bit more as well. Um, but definitely going to be looking into some other projects, especially uh, Helium. Helium. Helium's a project that has really caught my eye. Um, it's, <laughs> it is very impressive. Um, definitely going to start to actually mining that coin. Uh, I will be mining that coin, waiting for my little hotspot to get here. Probably going to buy another miner as well. But I felt like I was a little bit sleep with this particular token. Um, the fact that you uh, are actually able to basically make some money off of Wi-Fi. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard me correctly, but yeah, make money off of Wi-Fi. Decentralized internet. Uh, they have these different hotspots. Right now, it's not a lot of users on the platform. So I see this as a big opportunity just for the fact that people that have mined other cryptos at a young stage or, you know, when the price was really low, um, it has shown that, you know, that can be very lucrative. Um, so I'm looking for similar projects like this where, you know, you can use your crypto as collateral. Um, you know, you won't borrow it. But at the end of the day, I want my crypto to be earning pretty much every day, like just constantly just going up, earning interest. Uh, because like I said, you know, for me, living off crypto, treating this as my, you know, my new financial, uh, I guess, financial paradox, per, per, uh, what I use paradox? Let me not use that. I'll use it. I'll, I'll say this is my new financial realm, put it like that. Um, I just feel like, Compared to the traditional finance sectors, you know, there's there's no opportunities like this, um, especially when it comes to, you know, dividend stocks, high yielding interest accounts. You know, I think the highest uh, high yield interest account you can possibly get is not that much. Um, maybe over one percent, maybe over two percent. I, I don't quite know. Uh, just for fact, because, you know, I'm not really interested in it um, because I found other <laughs> routes that are giving me anywhere from minimum 1% up. Uh, so that's what it is. Uh, finding different ways to, especially at a time like this where, you know, we do have some dips. So trying to really figure out, all right, now that it's dipping right now, what are some coins that might be particularly good to hold right now and accumulate those uh, 
at this current price because that's something that I've noticed with my Nexo account um, as it collects interest, you know, in the various markets. Uh, I know sometimes it's a little bit more here, it's a little bit more there. It just it, it varies on you know the the current price of that particular token. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're still gonna be earning that token. Um, so I'll, and that's another thing too is for me trying to figure out you know okay let's just say I have been earning or accumulating type of interest or coins at a certain price is it better to sell some of those profits right then and there and then as the market dips take you know that same interest those same staking rewards and then rebuy it at a uh, lower uh, lower level so that's something that you know I might play with that idea try to see if that might be able to help me accumulate a little bit even more um so again but i think that's gonna really wrap it up for this this episode man um i got some projects in the queue for y'all that are who think y'all are gonna enjoy them again trying to put some more time into just you know researching some of these projects i feel like i've I might have been sleeping on some of these, uh, especially like the one like Helium. Um, when it comes to mining, man, I think mining uh, is a little bit undermined for people that might not understand it fully, um, especially with, you know, that whole, oh, you need this particular computer or you might need this type of rigging system. It actually really varies on the project that you're mining for. I mean, prime example is Helium. Uh, you know, for this, all you really need is a watt, a hotspot, a phone, and they do have, you know, different hotspots that you are able to purchase. And then, you know, with Pi, uh, Pi, you mine now on your phone. Pretty simple. It's all done in the background. Uh, obviously, that one doesn't have any intrinsic value right now, but the fact that, again, anytime you got machines working for you every day it's just a great feeling to know that you'll you know you're pretty much accumulating crypto every day uh so again i do appreciate you guys listening uh i notice been getting a lot more plays uh, a little bit lately here um as you guys do know podcast is available on apple podcast google podcast spotify breaker cast box overcast podcast and radio public um, like I said, for this week, um, as far as projects go, got a blockchain video game called Star Atlas that I think is going to be dope. Uh, cannot wait to see the demo. Hopefully it comes in the next like two or three months. Uh, between that project, uh, Helium, Republic, um, Terra, uh, there's, there's some projects there, you know, <laughs> that are on my radar that I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and deep dive and let's see if we can make, you know, this profitable for us. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, go ahead. You guys leave a message. You guys ain't got any questions, call into the channel, call into the podcast. Uh, make sure you guys, you know, follow my YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys want to see, you know, obviously more videos and, what I kind of do in the crypto space. So that's going to wrap it up. This is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto. And you have just listened to the Crypto Millionaire podcast. Peace, y'all.